Hello friends at the Centerville Seventh-day Adventist Church. My name is Yves Monnier and I'm the Director of Evangelism for It Is Written. I'm here in Mongolia, in the city of Ulaanbaatar, the coldest capital in the entire world. But we're not here when it's very cold. We're here in August where it's actually quite nice. I'm here with about 66 people who've come from different parts of the country. Why? To provide medical, dental help to the people in these communities uh, all around the city of Ulaanbaatar. They don't have access to some of the things that we take for granted back home in the United States. Among this group are two very special people. I have to mention them, and those are the Steinbrunners. They are here, and uh, believe me, your two church members are working very, very hard. They've been not at one of the clinics. Actually, they've been going to an orphanage to provide some of the, the help necessary there and to introduce, through action and words, introduce people, not just people, little people, to Jesus Christ. I appreciate the support of the Centerville Church. Let me tell you about our project here. Every single day in five locations across this great city, we are here to, to invite people to come and receive much needed help. The things, like I said, you take for granted. Here, they don't have access to. And so the doctors, the dentists are doing what doctors and dentists do. And people, through those actions, through those acts of compassion, are introduced to Jesus Christ. And then, here's the best part, we invite everyone to come back in the evening to the church. And the church is right here. The gear is, is probably the Sabbath school room, if you can imagine. There it is, right behind. The Sabbath school room and the church is right here. In the evening, people come back. Why? Well, to hear about Jesus. Not only to hear about Jesus, but to learn about how to live more healthfully. Right after the health talks, that's when we talk about Jesus. We, we introduce them to the message of salvation, to why there is pain and suffering. We, we walk them through these simple things and let me tell you, the eyes are getting big as people hear these things. And now they better understand why there's pain and suffering. They better understand that there's hope in spite of all the pain and suffering that they are enduring in this world. So this is what we're doing here. It is written is excited to be part of this project with the Adventist mission here. And we're glad that two of your church members are with us here in Mongolia. I hope, by the way, that some of you will consider to come in the future with us to Mongolia. We have an upcoming trip in June 2017. And I bet you there's some of you out there, doctors and dentists and nurses and physical therapists who'd say, you know what? I can do something in Mongolia too. I can be used by God as well. So please think about it. And if you have any questions, make sure to talk to Nicholas or his dad, Tom. Thank you again. God bless you.